Of all the things that I have to deal with with having as many kids as I do that piss me off the most, it's not their fighting over things for whose turn it is. It's not even the way that they interrupt conversations all the time or when they attest to knowing things that they have never learned about and that I'm wrong. No, it's not that. I get more upset when I ask them to do a chore of any type or to pick up after themselves, and the reaction is this. Ugh! Or, no! It's the fucking groaning. That drives me insane. Like fucking Michael Douglas in the movie Falling Down levels of insane. I know you don't want to do it. And I know that you're so fucking tired from all that sitting on your ass playing video games and not fucking pulling your weight around here that you've been doing. But if you could just, I don't know, fold some clothes and put them away or pick up your goddamn dirty clothes that you leave in the bathroom before you hop in the bath or pick up your jacket, gloves, and hat that you just dropped on the fucking kitchen floor on your walk to the bathroom after you come in from playing outside or rinse your plate off better or get into the bathtub and brush your teeth without me virtually having to put a gun to your head because it's, oh, it takes so much energy. Seriously, I don't know if all of these kids are going to make it to adulthood. Not because they're stupid and they're going to play in traffic and get run over by cars. Not because they're going to be the kid that ends up getting caught in the crossfire of a school shooting. Not because most of them are female and they're going to trust the wrong guy to take them on a date to God knows where and he rapes them and dumps their body. But because they have smart mouths. And I'm not advocating for beating my children. But I might just one of these days haul off and fucking tombstone pile drive one of these little shitbirds through the fucking kitchen floor. Seriously. When you make that sound, it's like a donkey taking a painful shit. Or like somebody receiving a warm buttermilk enema by surprise. I don't know what it is. It elicits a reaction in me that can best be described as primal rage. I cannot, for the life of me, find anything else they do that drives me more up a wall than they're groaning and they're moaning and fucking complaining. And it's just like, you know what? I bet people that were involved in the fucking Bataan death march whined and cried less about what they were going through than you do with simple suburban white kid fucking house chores. You're lucky that I don't permanently insert a size 13 Adidas up your ass for the level of back talk that you give me. I will fucking spike you like a football in the end zone after a Randy Moss touchdown, you big mouth whiny motherfucker. And it's so bad that I would rather listen to a 10-hour loop of Nancy Kerrigan crying, why, why, after being kneecapped by Jeff Galuli. I would rather listen to a live rabbit scream while having its paws cut off so they can be made into keychains. I would rather listen to 24 different simultaneous audio channel recordings of female house cats being raped by male alley cats. Hell, I would rather spend an entire five-hour flight stuck next to my mother than have to continue to hear my kids moan and groan over chores and cleaning up. We ask so fucking little of you, and you take so much away from our overall enjoyment with your fucking complaints and your sense of grandiosity and entitlement. Just clean your shit up, and I won't yell. It's simple cause and effect. We've been over this at least a dozen fucking times. I don't know why it's not sinking in. I'm pretty sure none of you are retarded, and none of you are currently on the spectrum, so I don't know. But if you could just help me out by being less cunty when I ask you to do stuff, that would be great.